Man, these are uncomfortable in the nose. Who knows about these? Who knows about these <laughs> going in your nose? Um, yeah, they suck. But that's the last one I need to do because I'm negative, baby. Done. Now, it's already late. Well, sort of late. It's already 5.30. It's, it's dark outside already. And I'm just now about to um, start my day. Check it out. You can still see we got our Christmas tree up. Um, I'm not doing anything with the Christmas tree today. Um, I'm actually going to go meet with Landon. And we're going to meet at Twice Cream. I actually haven't been here since it's been an ice cream shop. So let's check it out. Along with our favorite uh, Landon. Oh, they painted the door blue. Thank you. You too. See ya. Oh, just so you know, we're just gonna be around back in the garage. Oh. Uh, just cleaning some stuff up for uh, Alex. Oh, right on. Yeah. Cool. All right. So if you're wondering why someone's back there. Thanks for letting me know. Yeah, that's us. Cool. Okay. Have a good night. Um, that was freaking delicious, guys. If you haven't tried Twice Cream. I recommend the banana bread one. It's not actually banana bread, but it tastes just like banana bread. It's banana honeycomb. What did you have? I had the uh, vanilla bourbon. Vanilla bourbon, also probably good, I don't know. Yours was cashew milk with the, with the, uh, with the banana. Yeah, mine was a vegan option. So if you're vegan, you can have that. Minus the honey part, but he explained that, I don't know. I'm not a vegan, so I don't know exactly how it works. But anyway, uh, we're gonna, Hop around back and uh, pick up some, some of the stuff. I wonder what the other side is a cafe? Interesting. Oh, still not going to be able to do that. That's actually the main reason why I asked Landon to give me a hand. My bum thumb. Um, we actually didn't come here for the ice cream. We came here because Alex was like, hey man, I got some stuff. Uh, if you want it and I was like yeah sure and then I was like you know what some of the stuff is heavy like this giant I don't know Noel post or whatever it is uh, bricks here picking up bricks with the thumb I don't know what's wrong with it I sprained it and it still isn't healed and picking up heavy stuff sucks so thanks very much Landon for giving me a hand all right I think that's everything. Here's your light back slash phone. Um, yeah, I think that's everything that we were allowed to take slash what we could use. So thank you very much, Alex. Really appreciate it. Alex is always hooking us up with all sorts of goodies. And we got a whole truckload. It's kind of hard to see because it's dark out. Look, there's the moon. It'd be easier to show this in the light like that there's the sun <clears throat> this is everything that we pulled out of that shed there hey what's up oh just a bunch of bricks for the eventual path that we'll make look at these legs there's only three of them unfortunately but they are um so bucket of tools a little miter box some Poly, a couple of spades and other shovels. Table? The table is, I don't know, it's just made out of fur. And so I was like, oh, yeah. The top is pretty. Because of the snow? Well, or the frost? The old, the old woodness? Yeah. Yeah, well, the reason why I liked it is because of uh, uh, how uh, wide the planks are. Because, like, I was just going to reclaim it, but. Yeah, the legs are just cut on the bottom, but oh, nice. yeah, but also got one, of, <laughs> got one of these. Oh, for picking up garbage. Yeah, and then uh, there's another table underneath, an oak table. It's split to all hell and some 
calipers and axe, a big knoll post, which is pretty cool. Yeah, and then uh, also in the back of the truck there was a couple things as well. Yeah, like uh, this portfolio thing, this mirror, this interesting turquoise colored I don't even know what that is. Landon wanted this mirror. And some moving blankets. Those always come in handy. But uh, yeah, that's the haul. Oh, these. These didn't come from Alex's. These are actually something that I'm supposed to fix. So maybe I'll do, maybe I'll do that today. I'm just gonna see if Landon can give me a hand emptying this stuff. Hey. Hey. How are you? Oh, great. That's great. For this, these guys, I got quite a bit of these big cracks. I don't know, do you want me to glue it just the way you had it, like that? Yeah, well, we can't really do anything about that because these are just reclaimed from whatever. Yeah. So we'll either we'll plane, well, we will have to plane regardless, but then we will fill that so that it's, uh, so it's, yeah, so it'll be, It'll be good. Okay. Landon! Yo. Yo, I was wondering if you could give me a hand. What are you working on? Oh yeah, dishing out uh, a piece of birch. Cookie bowl. Cookie bowl, dude, that's <laughs> freaking perfect. Yeah, it's a cookie that can hold cookies with the electric rasp. A lathe would be cool, but uh, we don't have a lathe. And... Yeah, we do, it's right there. Uh, yeah, Buried in all that wood that we're trying to use up making freaking cutting boards and what have you. We're trying to use up all that whole pile over there. Hundreds and hundreds of cutting boards. Yeah, we have a lot of orders. Um, okay, well, since you're working on that, that's okay. I'm going to, I'm going to work on these and I'll get your hand after, if you don't mind. Ah, one out of two ain't bad. Look at you, look at you. The Walrus and the Carpenter by Lewis Carroll. The sun was shining on the sea, shining with all his might. He did his very best to make the billows smooth and bright. And this was odd, because it was the middle of the night. The moon was shining sulkily, because she thought the sun had got no business to be there after the day was done. It's very rude of him, she said, to come and spoil the fun. The sea was wet as wet could be. The sands were dry as dry. You could not see a cloud, because no cloud was in the sky. No birds were flying overhead. There were no birds to fly. The walrus and the carpenter were walking close at hand. They wept like anything to see such quantities of sand. If this were only cleared away, they said, it would be grand. If seven maids with seven mops swept it for half a year, do you suppose, the walrus said, that they could get it clear? I doubt it, said the carpenter, and shed a bitter tear. Oh, oysters, come and walk with us, the walrus did beseech. A pleasant walk, a pleasant talk along the briny beach. We cannot do with more than four to give a hand to each. The eldest oyster looked at him, but never a word he said. The eldest oyster winked his eye and shook his heavy head, meaning to say he did not choose to leave the oyster bed. But four young oysters hurried up, all eager for the treat. Their coats were brushed, their faces washed, their shoes were clean and neat. And this was odd, because you know they hadn't any feet. Four other oysters followed them, and yet another four, and thick and fast they came at last, and more and more and more all hopping through the frothy waves and scrambling to the shore. The walrus and the carpenter walked on a mile or so, and then they rested on a rock conveniently low, and all the little oysters stood and waited in a row. The time has come, the walrus said, to talk of many things, of shoes and uh, ships and sealing wax, of uh, cabbages and kings, and why the sea is boiling hot and whether pigs have wings. But wait a bit, the oysters cried, before we have our chat, for some of us are out of breath, and all of us are fat. No hurry, said the carpenter. They thanked him much for that. 
A loaf of bread, the walrus said, is chiefly what we need. Pepper and vinegar besides are very good indeed. Now if you are ready, oysters dear, we can begin to feed. But not on us, the oysters cried, turning a little blue. After such kindness, that would be a dismal thing to do. The night is fine, the walrus said. Do you admire the view? It was so kind of you to come, and you are very nice. The carpenter said nothing but cutters and other slice. I wish you were not quite so deaf. I've had to ask you twice. It seems a shame, the walrus said, to play them such a trick. After we brought them out so far and made them trot so quick, the carpenter said nothing but the butters spread too thick. I weep for you, the walrus said. I deeply sympathize. With sobs and tears he sorted out those of the largest size, holding his pocket handkerchief before his streaming eyes. Oh, oysters, said the carpenter, you've had a pleasant run. Shall we be trotting home again? But answer came there none. And this was scarcely odd because they'd eaten every one. That's it. Done. Nice, ergonomically pleasing knife handle. Yeah, I like that. I started off with making like two scales to uh, hold the quarter tang. I don't even know how you describe that, but the tang only goes in a quarter of the of the scale length or handle length. Um, and I was worried I was going to cut through it when I put in this detail, but that's nice. Here, hold this. How does that feel nice in the hand? Yeah. That's nice, right? Yeah. Sweet. I just got to oil it now. Sweet. Okay, well, I got some oil right here, so let's do it up. better with the richness of the wood coming out. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Now I'm hoping that uh, when I give this back, they're not going to have issues with the handle breaking again. I really, I really am pleased with the way that this, this came out awesome oh it stayed in that time may as well oil this other one as well oh oh are you kidding me you're kidding me you're kidding me right are you kidding me 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 well it's a good thing that that happened uh well i still have it but anyway this one's done with oak and i did it a little bit differently i have a center spline no that wouldn't be a spline but a center lamination that uh, has a space cut into it to fit the uh, the little tang of the knife blade in this one shouldn't come apart because there's less glue failure opportunities this one fell apart probably because I squeezed it too tightly and it took all the epoxy out luckily we could just redo it Failure is always an option. That's a Adam Savage quote. Oh. Failure is always an option is a phrase that I came up with actually and put on early crew hats as a Christmas gift early in the show. And it's not just a joke. Oh. <laughs> it's actually really the cornerstone of our approach to the scientific method. Any result's a result, that's for sure. Luckily, the epoxy can stick to itself if you scratch it up a bit, so that's what we're doing. Okay. Mix that up. Put 
put a lot in there and then hold for five minutes. And then resand. What? There we go. Let that be for five minutes. And hopefully she stays together. While that's uh, setting up, Landon over here, he's been making a. Uh, a cookie bowl, cookie bowl, if you will. Cookie platter. Made out of a birch cookie. It's actually pretty nice. Here we got a, a handle there. It's got some spalting in there. Spalting. With the uh, oiling. That'll probably look pretty freaking sweet. Just Let's grab a paper towel. Oh yeah, nice. that looks awesome. Nice. Yeah, that's really pretty. That's gonna look good. This is making me wanna make bowls too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. So this is the before, and then this is after a, a little bit of work. Well, a lot of work, really. Um, just uh, some cookies cut out of some birch from... I believe my dad made these cookies for my cousin's wedding. Oh, okay. And my sister used them for her wedding, and I used them for my wedding. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah. And now you'll use them... As bowls, bowls. Yeah. Uh, one bowl, very shallow bowl yeah. with a thumb grip. Actually, show the, pick that up, show the how the light shines through it there. She got fairly thin right there. Yeah, that looks freaking cool though. That would be cool to make a lamp with like a flicker bulb. That would be cool. Yeah. Like a whole bunch of it really thin. Yeah. And just make like a box. Yeah. Shade or whatever. Yeah. There's an idea. That'd be cool. Well, that turned out good. Well, I think we are just about ready to unclamp this freaking unfortunate accident here. Now I just have to resand. <laughs> There we go. Let's re-oil this bad boy. <laughs> Wait, first let's see if it'll break again. Where's that piece of wood? Never <laughs> even happened. Good, I don't know exactly why it broke, like what force broke it the first time, but... I'm glad that it happened here with me instead of with them. By the way, Landon, do you feel like uh, going to Confections? Confection sounds like a great idea. Let's do it. Okay, before we go drop off the knives, uh, Ken actually finished... How many here? One. Oh, so satisfying. Two. Three. Oh, that doesn't fit. We didn't take the corners off this one. Each one is designed individually from the next one for the most part. But three, four. Oh, this one's gonna look good. Come here. Five. Six and seven. Seven banana bread boards you finished. I wonder if this will fit up here because it's a little wider. Yes. Oh, we're running a little low on oil. 
as we do this, obviously we get less and less oil because it sucks in there. But not to worry. We have a Gramps Chronicles mug. Well, this is not the smartest way to do this. Okay, submerged. Good. And these. I hope this fits in there. Oh, not quite. I feel like I want to go chop off the end of it, but I'm not going to. There we go. So we'll let that soak up some oil. While we are out, I just wanted to get that done. Oh, should I oil those too? Okay. Look how big this one is. This is a nice chopping block. We got all this flooring here. We still have to do our freaking flooring. Oh yeah, that's gonna look so good. Look at the yellow tulip wood, I think is what that is. We got some bird's eye maple, some walnut, and then of course we got some purple heart, my favorite, and then my least favorite, oak. But it actually looks pretty nice. I got this slab from, I don't know where exactly, but I've had it for a while. Give it this preliminary oiling. Look at the rich color coming out of that. And then, oh, that one actually has already been oiled. That just needed a little, a little touch up. So that one's actually fine. Um, for those wondering why I'm oiling with my hands, because I don't have a rag in here. Oh, I do. <laughs> I thought this was in the wash. Okay, I'm in a hurry here because. I don't want to keep everyone waiting. There we go. Got this really fancy state-of-the-art uh, oiling rack. The oil is not going to harm the floor. The flooring pieces, just in case anyone's wondering. Okay, let's flip that over. One more time. Yeah, I love that. Oil brings out all the beauty in the wood. Now, since this one is too big to be submerged in any of my containers, it will just get many coats of oil just like this as it sucks in, especially on the end grain. But anyway, I think we're ready to drop these off. Okay, so on the way to confections, uh, those of you who are longtime viewers will know what I'm talking about when I say confections, uh, our friend's restaurant. On our way there, I decided, you know what? I'm gonna call them and make sure that someone's going to be there. And it's a good thing I did because nobody is there. So I'm coming to their house instead. Just, you know, conclusion for the video. How do they like the knives? I put them in a shoe box here and uh, I'll get them to open it. See what they think. Hey! Hey! How are you? Good, how are you Okay, so, so I got your, uh, I got your stabbers here that you asked me to fix for you. Stabbers? Come have a look. Oh Ooh, wow! Those are sick. They're pretty, eh? Hey? Well, the one is. The other one's oak. You hate oak, eh? Hey? <laughs> yeah. Wow, cool. That's cool, eh? Yeah, that's awesome. Those are sweet. Better than the old do handles. That with all of our knives. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, any of them that that that's break. Just gotta make sure everybody tells them not to put them in the dishwasher. Yeah. Yeah. You have to hand wash those. Yeah. That's so cool. Wow. Awesome. Well, I'm glad you like them. I'm glad I thought the saving notes for you. Yeah, good thing you did. How did you do that? Oh, it's just a few different laminations. This this middle lamination actually is, uh, it came off of a uh, cutting board. It was just like an off cut. Oh, yeah? And then so I was like, oh, I could add yeah, that really in. You can't even tell the scene, where the seams are. Like you can, but. You can see them, but you can't, can't feel them. them. Yeah. No. 
Wow. Sanded really nicely. That's awesome. Yeah. Sweet. Did you even know I gave them that? Yeah, yeah, I did know. But I had no idea how how they would turn out. That's awesome. Ashley oh, almost threw them out. I was like, no, wait. I'll give those to Josh. I have two rolling pins for you, too, if you want. Okay. They're to fix just, or to do something with? Yeah, or? It's a, the handles broke off, but they're marble. It's like a big screen. Oh, okay. Marble, so it needs, if you want. <laughs> I've just been saving shit that breaks for you. <laughs> yeah, I can fix that for you. Which one do you like more, though? I like yeah. the color of yeah, this one. That one's way better. Right? This is one. This, is this stain? Or is that the color no, of the wood? No, that's the color of the wood. That's purple heart. Yeah, yeah. And then there's some maple, cherry, maple again, and then walnut. And then this one is, uh, it's mostly oak, but then that middle piece is purple heart. Yeah. And I figured, I mean, I don't, I didn't know exactly, but for this one, I made it more one piece, more or less, like from front to back. Yeah. Because it's like a steak knife so yeah, i thought yeah. it was like you know the aggressive like i don't know i figured it might fall apart this one actually did fall apart because i the the epoxy resin that i put in there failed somehow yeah but it shouldn't fall apart now cool. that's awesome mm -hmm. sweet i'm glad you dig them yeah i love it sorry it took so long <laughs> no you're busy hey lots of yeah, totally bit. just a random lots of order yeah too. Well, I didn't even know if you'd want to do something with them or not. I just and these are fossilized Cheetos. These yeah, these are. You can actually eat these. No. Have yeah. you seen that video? <laughs> I'm not eating styrofoam. You can't. It's not styrofoam, dude. It's it's starch. <laughs> it's starch. Is it melting in your mouth? Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe you actually did that, but yeah, they're they're like they're edible. Not edible <laughs> in terms of like they're not food. Do you want a Cheeto? <laughs> Weird. No, no, it's not a Cheeto. Don't eat it. <laughs> uh, packing peanut, but you can eat them. Don't eat them, but you can if you want. It does. It does just taste like I just washed a bunch of potatoes in my mouth. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. I don't know. You know what that means, but it's weird. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that is weird. Like this is not the video I'm looking for, but have you seen this guy? What? Have you seen this guy? Yeah. I will take the rest home. We're actually going to go get something to eat that is not styrofoam adjacent. Um, but I'm glad you guys like the knives. Yeah, I love them. Have a, have a good night. Me too. We have Landon waiting outside. Oh, do you? Uh... Yeah, in his van. Uh, but we're gonna go. We're gonna go get some wings. Oh, nice. All right. Have a good night. You. You're welcome. I can't put on this freaking shoe with my stupid thumb. Can you hold the food? Hey, is your uh, January busy? You said you're pretty busy, hey? I'm decently busy. Why? To start framing that basement. Let's do it. Maybe in like three weeks or something. Sure. Let me know what works okay. for you. Say bye bye. I like it. Can you wait bye bye? Bye, bye, -bye. buddy. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> Can you say to be continued? <laughs> to be continued. <laughs> <laughs>
like I say, not very exciting. Not like an NHL game. Not like the Oilers uh, versus the Islanders game. We're currently winning 4-2. That's pretty sick. Unfortunately, wasn't able to enjoy this game at home because I had to come to the mall to get some some darts. Uh, but it's good uh, good to know that we're winning with uh, only 10 minutes to go in the third period. I guess here we have uh, we have two games that we can enjoy. I don't know if we look like some weird mall rats just hanging out watching uh, a couple hockey games unfold here. Oh, Islanders! Nice save. Nice save again. Yeah. Oh. This is going to demonetize me. <laughs> Thanks for watching.